These are the top five things that I like in the city of Philadelphia. So come on, let's check them out. Number five, cheesesteaks. I mean, who doesn't love a good cheesesteak? Well, Philadelphia is known for the cheesesteaks. If you fancy the cheesesteaks that come out the best in reviews, head on down to places like D'Alessandro's, Tony Luke's, Jim South Street, and a few others. Gino's and Pat's for maybe on the tourist trail, but you've got to go and check those out. You've got to see where the history of cheesesteaks started at Pat's Cheesesteaks. So number five is cheesesteaks. Number four, the historical area of Philadelphia. Now Philadelphia has history oozing in every corner, in every street, in every alleyway. Ben Franklin's grave, for example, the Liberty Bell, the Independence Hall. There are a number of sites to see which connect you to the history not of not only Philadelphia, but also the United States. So if you are a history fan, or even if you are not a history fan, it's that historic area that I would recommend. Number three, the Philadelphia Museum of Art. It's associated with most famously Philadelphia's favorite son Rocky Balboa and because it's been featured in the movies I think a trip has to be uh, in store for you at the Philadelphia Museum of Art. The Rocky statue is just beneath the steps on the right hand side as you look towards the museum as you look up the steps. So here's a tip for you run up those steps burn some calories because then you can eat some famous Philadelphia cheesesteak Number two, the Little Italy area of Philadelphia, South Market. Now, that has got to be the most colourful area within Philadelphia. The characters that are there, the food that is there, the smells that are there. South Market has everything from fresh vegetables to cannoli to pizza to whatever type of food you could think of. A tip for you, head on down to Rim Cafe for some cannoli. They've got cannoli all the way from $7 to $35. And trust me, that's the best cannoli that you're going to eat in the United States of America. Number one, Reading Terminal Market. I could spend days in Reading Terminal Market and still only see a fraction of what the market has. Now, Reading Terminal Market has different types of cuisines, fresh produce, and it's just a delight to walk around the market and sample the many flavors and delicacies that the market has. Don't just think it's serving you lunch and uh, breakfast. It's also got desserts, cakes, and all sorts of pastries and sweet delights. So I would say spend some time in Reading Terminal Market. There's always street performers outside the market that are there to entertain you. Once inside the market, make sure you find a seating area because those are always hard to obtain get your seating area and then go all out in the market and sample everything that it's got to offer because reading terminal market is the best thing in philadelphia